And we are going on. Hi, this is Debbie Dashinger, joined by some friends. <laughs> I hope you like this background. I do. I love dogs. And if you love dogs too, um, this is definitely going to be a conversation for you. You may be somebody who loves dogs, is in the pet industry. You could work with canines. So you could be part of a canine unit. You could have or know a service dog. You could be a vet. I could keep going. Let your imagination run wild in. So this is actually a tribute to the animals that are getting us through our lives in general and this time. There is an anthology that is rolling out. And I am so excited. I want to pop you into a screen share here to show you because I had a working title before, but now we've got a title. And I will say, as I pull this up, that we definitely have authors coming aboard. So it is a first come, first serve opportunity. And um, yeah, it looks like we're going to actually see me <laughs> right now. Um, so I'm going to actually stop that screen share and I'm going to bounce back here really quick so that we can pull up the right thing. Um, but I am really, really, really excited about this opportunity. I'll tell you why in a minute. Uh, let's just go back to Zoom and to screen share. And just I'm sort of very grateful that all of this is working. So here we go. Let's share this. This anthology book is entitled The Ultimate Book for Dog Lovers. I know you get the reference. Oof. The Ultimate ultimate <laughs> dog uh, book for dog lovers. And the subtitle is, if you're not covered in dog hair, your life is empty. So I want to tell you a little bit about what I do out in the world because doing books, being a book writing coach, helping people go to international bestseller guaranteed, as well as how to be interviewed on radio and podcast and get results. I work with private clients and I work in groups. And I've actually got a book membership about to roll out because everybody right now is really wanting to write the book they always dreamed of. And we have more readers. Did you know that? We have more readers right now than ever before. It makes sense. More people buying books. This is such a great time to get your message out. So you may want to write a whole book, then go to debbie-inger.com slash visible visionaries. Awesome. I'm going to be working with people live in the membership and I'm very excited. And if you prefer to write a chapter, and you can do both, by the way, some people are opting in for both, go to debbyd.net slash anthology. So here's what we're going to get with the ultimate book for dog lovers. You can be a published author this year. It is a compilation anthology, and you can write your own chapter in the book. You don't have to write an entire book, and you can become an international bestselling author. You may have a story to tell. You may have a dog story to tell. So we are looking for more authors. As I said, people are already coming on board and you do have to register at debbyd.net slash anthology. There is a free um, fun, really fun video there for you to enjoy. And um, once we have all the chapters filled, it closes, right? Because there's just so many pages in a book to do. And then we start rolling out. There's, this is a really amazing package that I've done before. And I just wanna preface it by saying, this is a special. This is a quarantine special. And I'm going to keep it very real and transparent. In the past, I have done this for 1,997. And it makes sense. You're getting a fully formatted book, an ebook, a print book, a book cover. Uh, everything is professionally edited. Uh, people are writing their chapters. I give them a template to type into. And if they don't want to write a chapter, we do an interview and we transcribe it for you. So I also run the Guaranteed International Bestseller. I do a book video trailer, a global press release. You get a couple of Zoom calls with me that are masterclass level and more. So you can see this is a pretty sumptuous package. What I did just for right now, because I feel so strongly about getting a message out right now about our beloved dogs, is I took that price and it's, please don't ask me percentages. I have a lot of gifts. 
math may not be one of them, but whatever the percentage is going from 1,997 to $795, that's 60, 70, whatever percent slashed off. Just so you can get in, this is not a, obviously a money-making proposition because I have to pay for a lot of these pieces to get done and for my team and for the websites and everything I create out in the world. It does take, uh, it does take the mountain, but the great news is now you know the mountain. There's nothing you need to do but sign on to do it and I take care of the rest. I made this very affordable, very easy, and you can do two or three payments. Of course, I understand. I'm in the same boat and I'm getting involved in things, projects as well, because there are things calling to my attention that I really want to do right now. And so we're all looking for ways to do it in a way that we can afford it. But still, in six months, where do you want to be? Like, can you take a stand for yourself right now and say, I'm stepping up for my greatness. This is something I've wanted to do. This is important to me. And in six months, I'm going to have something amazing to show for my life. Not to mention that you can have a great gift to give out, right? You can say, I'm, I'm in this book and uh, it'll be in your bio, it'll be in your resume, on your website. And also, you know, what a wonderful gift to give to people in general for birthdays, for holidays, a dog about, a book about dogs. Yeah. So here's more of what you get and I'll stay on this page just a few more minutes. And then I want to tell you about my dog, Shelby, right? And I'll bring up some pictures of her because she's the greatest inspiration in my life. And uh, so here's a little bit more of what you'll get. Like I said, you're gonna write a chapter for the Inspiring Dog Anthology or be interviewed and have it transcribed. It's going to be launched to an international bestseller guaranteed. The authors will all be interviewed. I'm gonna set them up to be interviewed in about two different podcasts. You can get your voice out there pre-book launch, a global press release published for the book, a book video trailer. The authors will be featured in a book magazine a graphically designed book cover, I hear my dog. The book is going to be professionally edited. The book launch will be this year. Woohoo! so you can get your book one and done this year. Marketing copy provided for the book launch. There will be some bonus live Zooms with me about how to write a page from a book and also so you know everything that's going on. I love doing reverse engineering. I super well hold all my authors. I have great testimonies in all my sites from people who have done this with me in the past. It is a blast. And I love to overcreate, right? If I say I'm gonna go here, let's go there. Because that's the fun part of life. And also some uh, day of book launch, bestseller book launch screenshots and rankings. So you get to keep all of that as your book rises. Transcription, editing, book interior, cover professionally done. All you need to do is register. And once you register, Priority is given to authors by how they're registering. So the faster you register, the faster you'll be towards the front of the book. First come, first serve. And your investment is only $7.95 for this. And again, you can do two payments. And at this point, if you would like to do more, of course you can do more. I have tons of testimonies here as well as on my website, which is different than this page. And um, people love the... They love the experience. And as I said, fully done for you, I've got a nice little video there that you can engage in and enjoy to learn a little bit more. This price, the value of everything that I'm offering is 9,293. And as I said, I used to do it for the going price in general is 1,997, which by the way, I know is very, very, very low. I've had um, big leaders come to me about this. And I will tell you that they roll out their anthologies and I am being very honest. And I can name names, but I'm going to leave them off for right now. They do $10,000 for a chapter. I'm offering this for $7.95 and you can make three payments. So you know you're getting an amazing deal. Same as what they deliver, right? Uh, but, you know, I actually run things a little even deeper than most people do. So this is a beautiful, beautiful, beautiful opportunity. Go right here. You'll see the the website, debbid.net slash anthology. And I'll stop sharing there for a minute and I'll come back with me and my friends. Woo! And um, I'll tell you a little bit about my experience with a dog. So I always want to pick her up, but when she's tired, when she's tired like she is now, Shelby, um, she'll just go, <laughs> she'll just lay in my arms like a galump. So she won't be very animated, but she's really animated. And real life. Although, if I were to be honest with you, I have to say I've had to be very mindful during the quarantine that there's another being in this house besides me. And this being 
feels feelings, not just from me, but also from the whole world. So I have to be very sensitive that she's sensitive. And that's what dogs are. That's why they become service dogs and vet dogs and how they heal the way they do. And anyone who's a psychic or, you know, a dog whisperer or can talk to dogs knows this, how deeply intelligent and aware they are. So I need to be very mindful. And so uh, I like to, I have a toy I'll take out in our hallway. I live in an apartment building, thankfully a beautiful, a cool and um very quiet place that I call is my workspace too. It's wonderful here. And thankfully all the halls are closed off. So there's no way she could run out into Los Angeles, you know, well, there's not traffic outside of my place, but you know what I'm saying out into the street. So it's all enclosed. I, I have, I feel like showing you her toys. She's got great toys. I take one of the ones I know she loves out in the hallway and we'll play catch. And so she races up and down with the toy in her mouth and she tries to run away from me. This is something that creates fun. We have something else, uh, We how this got started, I don't know, but she's got a very adventurous spirit and now she knows, she runs to one of our doors. Obviously we have an elevator, it's not a tall building, I'm only in a three story building. There is an elevator, but she knows where the side exit doors are that you can go up and down and up and down. So she'll go and she'll look at me and say, let's go upstairs. And there's something she loves about running upstairs. She dives on people's floor mats. And you know how they're made of that really like tough material that sticks up because it's supposed to grab stuff off your show? shoe. And she just loves rubbing herself. Also, she's got the DNA because she's a cocker, cocker spaniel poodle mix. So she's a cockapoo. She's four years old and she'll do this whole thing with her claws, like she's digging to go someplace else. And then she races down the hall. Maybe she'll find another mat, but this is like a game to her and she'll look back and make sure that I'm there and then race some more. My dog has, she's only 15 pounds, but she's got these long, beautiful supermodel legs. And my God, she can run. It's very impressive. She's like a sort of an unbridled pony a little bit. Her gait is kind of funny but she's fiercely fast, like kind of greyhound fast. And so she races down the hall and does her business all over the floor, all over people's mats, just enjoying herself. And we throw her little toy and then she knows it's time to go up to the next floor. And we do the same thing all over again. And when we get back to the first floor, which is where I am thankfully, because it is so beautiful and cool here, uh, then she knows where the courtyard is. So then she wants to go out because it's a beautiful courtyard with all these gorgeous flowers and orchids and cactus and places to sit. And then she has to, you know, go smell because she loves smelling things. So this is one of the things I do with Shelby to get her through this time. The other thing is they say to keep your dog's mind going. And so I, I came up with a treasure hunt. And um, it wasn't the greatest success. And I, I think because, and I'm being very honest, I think maybe my dog is just a wee bit depressed. I think even though I'm doing everything I can to keep her spirits up, that she just knows things are different. We're sort of stuck here. And I'm trying to even come up with places to take her that are different or longer walks that have a little bit of you know, newness to them for both of us. So I'm doing my best. But there is that element, maybe all of you can relate, where you take your dog out. If my dog's very extroverted, extremely friendly, extremely loving to other dogs and people as well. And when she sees the dog, she gets very excited. And when someone pulls the dog six feet away to the other side of the street, I think it's deep enough into this experience that it's a little, like in the beginning, it was kind of like, what? Why can't I meet them? I think now as the weeks have gone on, she's a little bit like, hmm. And same thing with people, you know, they want the social distancing. So I understand, but you know, I'm sure they don't. It's hard for those of them who connecting and being very socialized is huge. Uh, so I did a treasure hunt and I took, she's got turkey bacon, it's dog turkey bacon that she loves. I put her in my bedroom and I said, you gotta wait because I'm doing something great out here. And I ripped off all these little pieces and I hid them around in her toys and some of the pill, you know, behind the pillows, you know, so that she would search and ferret it out. So we have to work on that a little bit because 
she sort of just looked at me and asked me to show her where they all were. <laughs> and that was major cheating. But I figured if I got it in our consciousness that we could do this, that maybe uh, as I do it again once a week, you know, she could start to realize, oh, I know what mom did. You know, these are, there's hidden treats, hidden treasures. So that's something fun. Also, they say dog puzzles are really good. You know, you might have some of those at home. These are um, things that you, they like to play with and then stuck inside are little treats. And so they have to play with it in order to figure out how to get it out, how to get out the little eating treat. So these are great things to do. Um, so I'll share some pictures with you because Shelby came into my life. I never, never, never had had a dog. Although uh, my grandparents had a dog when I grew up, but yeah, I never really had dog experience. We had cats. And as I said, I was born in the year of the dog. And I do not know why at some point in my life, I just became so positively obsessed with these gorgeous creatures. Every time I saw someone walking down a street, I, I was like, oh, I was making contact with the dog. I was so sure it was all about us. I would always say, you know, do you mind if I pet your dog? I would ask them questions about their dog. And then I moved into, I shifted into babysitting. And so I would babysit dogs because I really was important to me to understand, can I take care of a dog? Do I have what it takes? And then I knew I had definitely the heart capacity and the willingness to dedicate my days, my nights to the animal. And that was good. And when it was time, we got, I got my dog from a place called Cuddly Canines. And Cuddly Canines is a wonderful outfit in Southern California that um, they do rescue dogs, but they also rescue pregnant dogs, pregnant dogs that would have been euthanized with the pups inside of them. True story. Yeah, hard to hear, right? And so we were very fortunate because I put in, an, sorry, Amazon truck backing up. True story. I uh, had put in an application. I kept missing all the puppies. And I called the woman at Kevin Canines and she said, you know, your application was wonderful. You're one of the kind of people we're looking for, the kind of stability and the kind of, you know, home and heart. So I'll tell you what, we have a dog about to give birth. Why don't you go to the foster home? So they foster all the Prego dogs. Go to the foster home, take a look and see, you know, if you want one of the litter. And so Mama Lulu had given birth to three doggies, puppies two boys and a girl. And I got the girl, Shelby. So Shelby was adopted rescue. I met her when she was that big. Oh my God. She was in a beautiful foster home. These people were so nice. They would send me pictures all the time. And then I got to get her when she was eight months, eight weeks old. So I'll show you some pictures of Shelby so you understand the love of my life and why this is so important. And I'm sure you have stories about your dog as well. This is us now. So um, this is just taken last weekend in the harsh sunlight. This is Shelby, and this is a friend of hers. Can you believe how much they look alike? Although this dog is Lola, and Lola's 14. This is Shelby the dog, and she's only four. But they love each other very much, and they kiss and hang out. <laughs> There's my baby, that's Shelby. She's the 15 pound cockapoo, best personality. One of the things she loves more than life is grass. We can take a walk and she'll, I tell you, she just, she's sort of like one of those people who likes to just sit on a lawn chair and watch the cars go by and the people and man, is she happy. So this is Shelby, uh, grass does it for her. She needs like a grass bar and a grass restaurant. There she is again. And this is all very recent, taking walks during quarantine. Ah, mama does, that's me. I do yoga every morning with Dr. Sue Mortar and I love the classes, changing my life, changing my body actually. And so I put out two yoga mats. I put one horizontal, one vertical, so that as she switches positions, I'm switching with her. And there's Shelby, she comes out and does down dog and <laughs> does a few exercises while I do my yoga. And you can see how energized she is right there. Yawn. Shelby loving her grass. She loves getting on her back and just rolling around. It makes her super happy. She's always been great at showing her belly. Look how cute she is. And I got her collar and all her stuff. I had it made for her on Etsy. Um, this is when I first picked her up. That literally the drive home four years ago when I picked her up and she was just a bundle in my hands. Look how cute she was. 
Look at her. That was her mom right there. That's Shelby as a baby. Are you, are you quelling? Oh my God. She was so cute. That Shelby is a baby. Oh my gosh. I can't believe all that caramel on her head. That Shelby. Oh my gosh. She used to love um, pine cones. <laughs> that dog knows new beginnings. Look at her. That's the baby Shelby. And this is a grown up Shelby. And that's a grown up Shelby dog. And that's Shelby. She loves sticks. There's her stick. Shelby the dog, see those skinny long legs she's got? So funny, but boy, can they run. Make, make no mistake about it. This girl means business. So, all right, those are our Shelby pictures. And um, what else can I tell you about this opportunity that I have not already? Uh, I, I'm excited for the authors we have thus far. I just know that it's always perfect who comes aboard and I'm always super grateful for it. I do provide a formula for you. So it's not just you sitting down and going, wow, I have to figure this out. In case you've never written before, don't worry because I'm gonna even teach you how to write a page turner book. That's part of this package. It's actually part of what I love to do too. So really powerful tool is that the book cover gets designed for you and um, we collect, collect the submission, so a lot of people want to write it, but some people want to just conduct the interviews, and then this way we will do it as contributors, so you can create your story, write your story, or be interviewed for your story. Your chapter is professionally edited. I design the book interior. We always secure final approvals from all our authors before publication. I set up the Amazon accounts for Kindle and paperback. I technically convert your print book into an ebook so it can be sold on Kindle. And um, also, I set up an authors only branding page on Amazon. I promote your book to an Amazon International Bestseller Guaranteed. And it is promoted to over a million of the global following. And I provide all contributors, all authors of our ultimate book, comprehensive reports daily, including, including proof of bestseller screenshots taken as your book rises during the bestselling launch. And every author will finish their chapter, finish their book, get published, promoted, and impact the world. So again, you want to go to debbied.net slash Anthology. And if you have any questions, let me know. Um, I have a call with somebody tonight, actually, who is going to come aboard and just had a few questions. And because these are interesting times, if you need, need to do payments, it is wholesale right now. So cannot go any less than that. But it is wholesale to take just literally care of all the pieces we've discussed. Um, you're very welcome to do that. Of course, I'll work with you. And of course, I care. I hope you love this background. And um, I just wanted to sort of like, I'll try to put my face in between here. <laughs> face in between here. But I, I wanted to feature these gorgeous animals. So for you, there we go, she's back. For you, if you've got a dog story to tell and you wanna write a chapter, come aboard. The train is moving. If you're in the pet industry, and you'd like to write a chapter or sponsor the book, come aboard, the train is moving. If you're a vet who works with dogs, someone in a canine unit, someone who's a dog trainer, a dog psychic, or if you just wanna write something whimsical, fiction, nonfiction, service dog, you are all welcome because the more varied the chapters, the more wonderful the experience is gonna be. I love doing this. And I literally received this as a, Time to do an anthology and do it about dogs. I've never honored the fact that I have a dog and what this has meant in my life. But I have to say, every day I start my day with gratitude. That's my practice. And my practice always includes my dog, Shelby. I don't know how I would have done this without her. And there are people in my building right now who are fostering dogs. 
beautiful dogs, magnificent dogs. And I'm so happy to see that that's happening out in the world. And we have such good people taking such good action for our, our pups who really need us right now. There's no funding, there's no people to be with them. So if you can even foster a dog, that would be amazing. So again, I invite you to debbyd.net. Remember to spell it correctly. It's D-E-B-B-I-D.net slash anthology. And I look forward to seeing you be part of the ultimate, <laughs> the ultimate book lovers, dog book lovers, book lovers for dogs. Yeah, it's going to be amazing. And if you're not all covered with hair, what's up? <laughs> you love dogs. You're ready to write a chapter. I'm ready to guide you there. Fully done for you anthology book. And I am so thrilled to connect with you today. Blessings, everybody. Stay safe and healthy. And if it's your time, you're out there with all this beautiful, creative, juicy energy, let it rip. Let me take you through so you have something to show for yourself in six months that you're so proud of that you did and put out in the world at this time. It would be my honor and my pleasure.